So I've decided to do something new with this week's video where you're gonna follow my process. I'm going to challenge myself to get started on TikTok. I'm gonna be posting two TikToks per day for an entire week and I'm gonna be sharing the process with you, the tips, the strategies, how I come up with content ideas, how I plan my content and also kind of what my results are and what my experience is so you guys can learn from me. I just started a new account on TikTok, a personal account. I've only had my artists in my agencies on TikTok. I've never been there personally so I've decided to embark on TikTok and what better way to do so than to document it and also to challenge myself right to start hard so to give you some perspective why you know Instagram versus TikTok because the reality is that the TikTok format is also the same format as reels right so we're kind of spending time doing the same type of content that could easily then be just shared over to Instagram but my main focus and investment and time that I'll be spending will be on TikTok because that's gonna feed content over to Instagram get it but let me give you some numbers so both TikTok and Instagram, they have both about 1 billion monthly active users. However, only 55% of the users on TikTok actually contribute with content, which tells me there's a lot of people just scrolling the platform, watching content. There's not as much content there as it is on Instagram. However, the users are still the same, right? Also, 87% of marketers use Instagram and a majority of their budget on Instagram marketing, while only 4% of marketers are using TikTok, which tells me there's less ads, there's less the spam there. Another very interesting metric is, you know the average engagement rate on Instagram these days is 1.22%. You know what it is on TikTok? 17.5%, which means you're gonna get way more likes and comments on your content. And I'm gonna explain to you why that is, because TikTok has done a really good job educating their users in how to basically use the likes and comments and why you should use it, but I'll get into that. So what I'll be doing, it's a brand new account. I've had it about a week. I've done some few posts just to test with it, but nothing consistently. I'm gonna be posting two times per day for seven days and I'm gonna try to post at the same time. And I know that's gonna be challenging for me because usually my agency does my content, my publishing my content, so I don't really have to worry about the times. But with TikTok, you can't because it has to be done on the app. So I have to create all the content myself, even the editing, even the text, everything. So you know it's all gonna be me, full of spelling mistakes. You're welcome. <laughs> and also what I've decided to do, because I have the Smart Launch Club with my members of musicians and I want them to join me. And we decided to create a group where we can share our content with each other, where we can support each other, share the tricks, share the trends, share the hashtags, share what's trending and just kind of help each other, right? So that's one of the benefits for, you know, joining my launch club is that you can join me on these things, right? And you get hands-on help in the process. And I decided to go together with my fellow music marketer Steve Spotlight in doing this challenge as well so we can really get the momentum out there and I really want to move my Instagram followers over to TikTok and tell them you know shit's gonna be happening over here now in order to learn new things you have to do it right and I like to practice what I preach because we do have TikTok accounts in my agency, but I didn't have one personally. It just felt like I didn't put my soul into it. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Let's do it. So what I know about TikTok is that you need to train the platform. So in order to do that, you really have to start by picking a niche. So you might be thinking like, but I have many different sides to me and I have many niches and that's great. And we can show that over time. However, you're gonna confuse the TikTok algorithm to begin with. So we kind of have to pick one and start growing that. And then we can add more on when we start growing. But right now we have no data. And if we start, you know, putting out tons of different types of content in many different niches, TikTok's gonna get confused. So we need to pick a niche to begin with. So this is basically, you need to find strategic accounts that are in your niche to start following, start liking their content. You also, when you start sharing, you need to use strategic hashtags in your content that are niche based. So by doing this activity, both by participating on the platform, liking relevant posts that are in your niche and following strategic accounts that are in your niche, 
and also by using hashtags on your content that you share, your training, TikTok, who you are. Basically, you're telling them what kind of account you are, where your content should be placed, what content that they should show to you. But this takes a little bit of time. So pick a niche to begin with. So for a musician, what does this mean? So let's say, I always use Dead Mouse as an example. Let's say you're Dead Mouse, right? He's a DJ, he's a producer, obviously. His content's gonna be, you know, him DJ and producing. However, he's also a gamer. So if I were him and started on TikTok, I would go hard on gaming and show that side to me and really meet my audience through that type of content, but also sneak in my music side and show that to the gamers because you know your audience are gamers. So think who your niche audience is. Who do they follow? What influencers do they follow? What hashtags do they use? And what trends do they do? And start really researching this and to see what type of content that they're creating recently because people that are recent content creators, they are up to date with the trends as well. So I then see what type of sounds they use, what effects, what's, what are they talking about, what trends they jump on. You know, I do a lot of uh, research and I start slowly participating in what's relevant for for me in order to feed information to TikTok so they can know who I am and what I'm about. Next thing that I did is obviously I'm gonna be posting twice a day. I'm not gonna have time to think of content ideas every day. I'm busy, I'm a single mother. It's also Easter break great timing, right? So school's out. So I really have to start planning here. And the way that I do that is to start planning and brainstorming some content ideas and really start, you know, list them down the different ideas that I have. My first week, I'll be posting 14 posts. That's just 14 ideas. I can brainstorm, you know, at least five ideas to begin with. And I don't want to do 14 ideas right away because I'm probably going to learn tons throughout this week. So I'll just start with a few. But you want to be a little bit ahead because the second you get to the day and you have nothing and you just start panicking and that's when you spend so much time thinking about what you're gonna post. So have some content ideas ready that are relevant to your niche, ready to get started. So I have my first post in my draft ready to be posted. And I also have a few ideas that I'm gonna be filming after I finish this film. But I wanted to post my first one together with you. So if you want to head over to TikTok, follow me there. This is my username. I've already filmed it. I've already created it. I put the sound on, I put text on and everything, but I wanted to save it to post it to, so I could post it together with you. And I'm going to try to post it at the same times every day, which is going to be at two o'clock in the day and at 9 p.m. in the evening. As you can see, guys, you see I have it in the draft already. You see my published ones are here while the draft is there. You know, my account is fresh. Barely have any followers. Okay, so let's break down that post, what I try to do. I'm using a sound that I know is trending. I'm also using some very specific hashtags that are music marketing, do-it-yourself musician, musicians of TikTok, that are basically my niche. Also, I'm selecting the cover, which you see here you can do. You can then select where you think is the best and you can add these buttons as well here, right? Pick this one because I like that, the font of that and everything. And then you can choose where you want the, the cover photo to be. I like to choose one where my facial expression is like, <gasps> or like, <gasps> you know, or something that's like, <gasps> You know, so what I'm doing here is like this, right? So we have that, we have the cover photo ready. We have the hashtags, we have a sound. I do not have an effect on it. It probably would have even been better. I don't know, let's test these things out. First post down, first day. Let's see how this goes, right? So the second you post, close the app, do something else and get on with your day. A few things that you should also remember, always have the sound that you're gonna use. Add those into your favorites when you go through the sounds that you wanna use and browse. So I have a, you know, a library of all the favorite uh, sounds that I wanna use now. Do the same with the effects, add them to the favorites so you can easily then when you do the editing of the TikToks, find them when you're gonna post. Let's do it. So it's been 24 hours and some results are in. So what I did yesterday, I posted two TikToks, one at around 2 p.m. and the other one around 9 p.m. When it was time for me to post the second one, the first TikTok had about 50 views. So I decided to post a trending content piece. But basically, I jumped on one of the trends that's happening on TikTok with the sound and also a few hashtags. And then I just made it relevant to me and my niche. What happened was I posted, just left the app, closed the app, left my phone, and I didn't open it up until this morning. So I saw that both of the videos that I posted yesterday has about total 500 views, which is not bad. And I've received 15 new followers. And what's interesting is that they're all musicians. Why? Because I'm using very niche specific hashtags and my content is relevant for musicians. So I'm starting to teach TikTok 
who my audience is and who I am and what content I'm creating. Very interesting, right? So another thing that I did before this challenge is that I had some strategic content pieces on my TikTok profile where I share more of my story, more of my expertise. And the reason I do this is because you want to have some personal content and some original content on your profile. So when people come through these trends and check you out, they then scroll through your content and you know, if they see what they like, they will follow you. So I saw this morning that all of the views of my previous videos as well has all increased because of this trend that I posted. So I'm pretty sure also yesterday, if I had posted one more video and done three in a day, I would have gotten better results. So I might try three one day, maybe today. And the amount of likes and comments that you get on the content on TikTok compared to, let's say, Instagram is so much higher. People are really liking content. They're engaging in content. Why? Because they're telling the platform what type of content they want more of. So by liking, it. It's like YouTube. When people like or dislike it, they're just basically telling the algorithm, yeah, more of this type of content or not more of that type of content. So it's the same way on TikTok and the users know this. So that's why they're really engaging in content as well which helps in the algorithm, right? Remember Instagram years back when you actually could post and get traffic and get organic reach on your content? That's where TikTok is today. That's the feeling you get. You have the opportunity on every single post to maybe blow up. That's a fun feeling. So let's get started on this day's content. See you soon. So we have some results. We finally made it over the weekend. Last time we spoke, I said I was gonna try to maybe post three posts a few days. Well, I did it both Saturday and Sundays. And yeah, I'm getting way more results, way more views. So what I'm seeing is that whenever I post, let's say I post one post on the platform, it starts getting views, it starts getting views. But the second I post that second video, both of them are getting views. And then if I post that third video, they're all getting views. So I'm pretty sure even if I did four or five, but I'm not gonna do that because I have a business and I have so much to do otherwise. So two, three, you know, that's something that I can commit to over time. So what I've been doing, cause I had more time over the weekend, I could create more content. You know, I didn't have a problem, but now Monday came, I'm going to Palma tomorrow. I run out of ideas. I don't know what to post. I have a million things to do in my business and prepare for the trip tomorrow, which this is reality. This is what we're facing. Our focus is not social media and creating content. We have our business to take care of as well. So you have to find time for creating content. It's crucial. So I'm committed to my goal. And what I've decided is that I need to actually start planning out these content better. And I need to plan in advance. I won't be able to do any content tomorrow. So I need to do all of my content today, all of my content tomorrow, and probably beginning of Wednesday as well. So I want to bank and draft a few of the posts just so tomorrow I can just hit post and not create any content. So today we're going to get some content ideas from when you're stuck like I am now and we're going to plan that content in advance. All right, are you ready? Let's do it. What's happening on the platform? What are people doing? What are the trending sounds? What are the trending hashtags? What can I do is trending right now and make it relevant for me? So the first thing that I'm going to do is to start gathering the best trends that I feel that I can join and create a list of that. And then I'm going to create a script of each one of them and we're going to start filming and we're going to batch them today. So I recommend probably spending at least maybe 30 minutes each day just researching TikTok, what's happening, what's trends and everything, and to get, you know, inspiration for new content ideas. So we're gonna do that right now. So just by browsing here, you'll then find some content creators and then you go and see what they're doing. I usually go and see then what are their, you know, last posts, what song are they using? Is this a trending song? And then I go and kind of look at what are they, you know, doing to that song to see if, you know, anything that I can do that is relevant for me. So I found the perfect one that I'm going to create. And this is the thought mechanism. So if you see this one of Reese Witherspoon, it's so simple, but she's making this trend relevant for her. So I'm going to create the same one, but make it relevant for a musician. And just by attaching my content to that trend, I will then get that visibility that I need. So that's one idea. And what I'm going to do is usually then like, then it will uh, be a part of my like feed and I can easily access it there. But I also like to put, you know, all my ideas in a spreadsheet because it gets a lot of ideas eventually. So if this is a good post, 
that I want to do, I usually then share it, copy the link and head over to the document that I'm working on with the ideas that I can continue, you know, writing it for me. So this is one that I'm going to do and I'm going to continue doing this to find 10 uh, content ideas that I can start creating and don't have to, oh, what I'm going to write there, what I'm going to do there. So I could really optimize my time. So that's what I'm going to do. All right, let's start filming some TikToks. Heading into TikTok, and what we're going to do, we're going to create this now. So, we're going into the sound, we're going to use Ready, the first one, but I'm not going to post because it's not time for posts. So I'm just going to draft them because we're going to batch up for today, for tomorrow, and for Wednesday. And that's how you plan ahead. So yesterday was an exciting day. My TikTok just blew up. I probably got about 40 followers within an hour time span. It was so much fun. So finally you can grow solely by content now. Love it. Like Instagram was in 2012. So you see my followers, I have 147 now. It's getting towards the end of the challenge. You see have about 50, 50 male females and also where they're located. And I'm starting to see when people are online on the platform, which I should then post when people are online. So today I want to bust the myths about TikTok. So what I would rather do if I were you, I would go back to your previous post and engage with the ones that commented on your post uh, because what will happen then, they will get a notification and they will go to your profile and there's a higher chance that they will check out your new content. Another thing that people say, you have to post two to three times per day. This is definitely true. The days that I posted more than twice, I got more views, more traction on my content. And it's essentially like YouTube. If you post one video on YouTube versus 60 videos on YouTube, you're gonna have a higher chance to be seen if you have 60 videos versus one. So 60 videos will just continue giving you views rather than just hoping for one. So someone said it nicely, it's kind of like fishing. So you don't really know which one is going to take off, but you have to continue fishing. And the more posts that you kind of do throughout the day, the more traction you're getting on your profile and the higher chances that you are going viral. So I'm definitely gonna try to continue posting around two to three times per day going forward. So another thing that people say is also you need to be niche and you need to find your niche. This is definitely true on TikTok. TikTok is a platform. They don't know you personally, but they're trying to. So based on who you interact with, what type of content you interact with, what hashtags you're using on your content, and everything that you're doing on the platform, they're trying to place you in the right places of TikTok. So if you're very consistent on the, the accounts that you interact with, the hashtags that you use, the chances that you will be visible in a specific niche is higher than try to be visible everywhere. Although there is a big trend on TikTok that, you know, where they're talking about that they don't belong to any niche and that you can't place me, which is understandable. But you know, TikTok is a, a platform, it's a machine, and we just have to cater to that. So the best way is, yes, find your niche and go hard and be consistent with that. Then you could potentially add on different niches to you when you have the initial big following. But the, it's easier to grow in the beginning if you just grow in one niche and not try to grow everything. <laughs> no, you don't belong in just one niche. There are different sides of you, we know this. But let's just start with one, go hard on that, your core niche, and then build on that. And what are you doing with hashtags is, because you have very limited, it's not like Instagram where you can do 30 hashtags. So what I've done is I've been very consistent on the type of hashtags that I use on, this, on all my content. So three to four of the hashtags that I use are just the same on each one of my posts. And then I try to experiment with two to three hashtags that are maybe trending or that are niche or that is relevant to the content that I experiment a little bit. But with the three or four you know, main hashtags that's relevant to me and my niche, I consistently use on everything. Also Duet and Stitch are a great way to get more visibility. They're really pushing this type of content. Also it's a great way to network with people in the industry. If you stitch someone else's content you're networking with them. The same with a Duet. So use this as a tool to network with strategic people in the industry. That's not a myth. That's something you need to do now. It's so easy content. Create now. <laughs> One day left and I have no content for it. All right, let's summarize. We're done, a week has passed. So 
What have I learned? What results have I gotten? Let's take a look. So I started the week with about 30 followers and I posted 16 times. Most of the days I did two posts a day during the weekend, I actually managed to do three. Those videos generated 7,764 video views. This is a brand new account, guys. Sometimes I don't get those views on Instagram even in a whole week. And I have 7,000 followers on Instagram. It generated 741 likes and 126 comments. The average engagement rate for that week was 35% for my content, which is extremely high compared to my two, 3% that I'm getting on Instagram. So I ended the week at 153 followers. I definitely experienced the virality, the, the potential of TikTok with that one post that just opened up and immediately gave me tons of followers. But it's kind of like fishing, right? You don't know which content piece is going to make it. So that's why you need to post more. And the more consistent you can be, the higher chances it is to go viral. So during this week, because I was investing in TikTok and basically upping my game on my short form video, which is in reels in, in TikTok, it's the short form video format. It's the 15 seconds, the 30 seconds, the 60 seconds vertical that's just taking up all of your screen. So what I saw is that by focusing my time and energy into creating content on TikTok, I actually upped my game my content got better quality wise. I showed more personality. I showed more sides to me because I kind of put myself out of my comfort zone and I innovated with my content. And then I posted the best performing ones and the ones that were less than 30 seconds because you know, you'll have some challenge with the ones that are between 30 seconds and 60 seconds because you can't repurpose those as a reels. But the ones that I did post over to reels performed better than any one of the posts that I did previously because the quality just became better by focusing on TikTok. So I actually started growing with views and engagement on Instagram as well. So if the goal is to grow on TikTok, you need to be consistent. So you need to then find something that you can commit to over time, whether it's three posts per day where the higher chances of going viral because you're posting three times a day or if it's one, but then you have to at least make sure that that one post is really quality and has the potential of going viral as well. But my recommendation is to plan your content in advance, batch record it and then draft it. That's what I'm going to do today. I have 10 content ideas. I'm ready for another week. I'm even going to try to do three some days because I had such good momentum after that. And also I'm happy to see that the members that were part of the challenge as well from Launch Club, they got growth as well. I mean, particularly let's check out this message that I got where you really see the potential on TikTok. You can go to bed and wake up the next morning with thousands and thousands of views with a brand new account. When was the last time you saw that on Instagram? 2012? Yeah, head over to TikTok. Let's try it.